Okay, start with a cube, move it up, create some loop cuts on either side, then select the top faces, select the bottom faces, shift alt S and scale it. Now we have a cylindrical shape. Selecting the top faces, scale them in and move them down to create a shape similar to this. Then copy this a bunch of times, put them on top of each other, scaling it and rotating it in different directions to how you like. This will create the base of the palm tree. Go from a different angle, rotate and scale it again to put things where you want them. I like this shape. Now let's make the leaves. Start with a plane, go to the top view, move it to the side so the origin is at one edge, drag the other edge outwards, create a bunch of loop cuts in either direction and move the vertices and edges until you get a rough leaf shape. It doesn't have to be too perfect, just move it around. With the vertice at the end, change the pivot point to the 3D cursor and start rotating with proportional editing to get a more of a shape of a leaf so it's curved down a little bit. Once you finish with that, select all, go mesh, to clean up, make planar faces, turn that all the way up. Then rotate the leaf upwards, and then we'll create a few cuts into it with the knife tool. And then we'll remove those spaces, so then it looks like we've got some cutouts in the leaf. And just a few minor adjustments. Now let's add a solidify modifier to give it some thickness. That'll do. And then a bevel modifier to smooth it out. You can change the angle on the bevel modifier to get rid of any of these weird creases that you can see. 45 degrees did the job. Now let's add it to the tree. I'm gonna grab the leaves, put them at the top, go to top view, duplicate it a bunch of times, and then shift R to repeat the duplication. Then I just adjust all the different leaves, moving them into the correct spaces, pivot point from their origins, and then just create a design of palm tree that you like. You can change a whole bunch of different scales, sizing, put some leaves under the bottom, drip them around a little bit. Nice. Let's add some coconuts. Add a cube, press control one to put a subdivision modifier onto it. Move it to where you like. Shade smooth. Change the shape a little bit, create another one. Nice. Now select all the parts of the trunk and then shade smooth and add a bevel modifier. Selecting all and applying all of the modifiers. Then combine it and rename it. In the material preview, now we can color it. Just want to select the different parts with L and then add materials to those parts, changing the different colors. And then you can use control I to flip the invert of selected objects to the other things and then apply those colors to them. Don't forget to color the coconuts. Done.